that faint smudge of light among the stars, that's Andromeda. The nearest large galaxy to our own and the most distant object visible to the naked eye from Earth. It sits about two and a half million light years away, but today we're crossing that distance. By using this simulation, we can travel faster than light and reach our neighboring galaxy in minutes instead of millions of years. Right now, we're traveling through the Milky Way, our home galaxy. Around us are hundreds of billions of stars, each one potentially hosting its own family of planets. The Milky Way stretches about 100,000 light years from edge to edge, and we're currently somewhere in the outer spiral arms where our sun lives. Most of these stars you see are red dwarfs, small dim stars that burn for trillions of years. They make up about 70% of all stars in our galaxy, but they're so faint that not a single one is visible to the naked eye from Earth. Every star we pass represents an entire solar system, potentially with planets, moons, and maybe even life we'll never know about. The distances between stars are so vast that even traveling at light speed, it would take years to reach our nearest neighbor. But as we continue toward Andromeda, something changes. The stars begin to thin out. Fewer and fewer points of light surround us. We're reaching the edge of our galaxy, about to enter the void between galaxies where almost nothing exists. And there it is, our home galaxy, the Milky Way, from the outside. A spiral galaxy containing over 400 billion stars, stretching 100,000 light years across. Every human who has ever lived, every story ever told, every civilization that ever existed, all of it happened on one tiny planet, orbiting one ordinary star. A star that's now invisible, lost among 400 billion others. But look around us. Hundreds of galaxies surround us in every direction, scattered through the darkness of intergalactic space. Each one contains billions or even trillions of stars. We're in what astronomers call the local group, a collection of over 80 galaxies bound together by gravity and the largest member of that group is straight ahead. We're now crossing the void between galaxies. This is one of the emptiest regions in the universe. No stars, no planets, no light except from the distant galaxies surrounding us. Just two and a half million light years of nearly perfect vacuum. Andromeda is getting closer now. From Earth, it looks like a faint smudge barely visible to the eye. But up close, it's massive. This galaxy is actually larger than our own Milky Way, stretching over 200,000 light years across. It contains roughly one trillion stars, more than twice the number in our galaxy. And in about four billion years, Andromeda and the Milky Way will collide the two galaxies will merge together over hundreds of millions of years, creating one giant elliptical galaxy. For most of human history, people had no idea what this was. Ancient astronomers saw it as a small fuzzy patch in the night sky. Some called it a little cloud. Others thought it might be a distant star surrounded by glowing gas. In the 1700s, Astronomers cataloged it as a nebula, thinking it was just another object inside our own Milky Way. For over a century, most scientists believed the Milky Way was the entire universe, and everything we could see in the sky existed within it. But in 1923, 
an astronomer named Edwin Hubble changed everything. He measured the distance to this nebula and discovered something incredible. It was over a million light years away, far beyond the edges of our galaxy. We now know the true distance is closer to two and a half million light years. It wasn't inside our galaxy. It was another galaxy entirely. In a single discovery, the known universe expanded from one galaxy to billions. Now, we're entering Andromeda itself. Around us are some of the oldest stars in this galaxy, ancient red and yellow suns that formed over 10 billion years ago. Andromeda is roughly the same age as our Milky Way, about 13 billion years old. This galaxy contains about one trillion stars, more than double the number in our home galaxy. If you could see every star in Andromeda from Earth, it would appear six times wider than the full moon in our night sky. But Andromeda isn't alone out here. It has dozens of smaller satellite galaxies orbiting around it, held in place by its immense gravitational pull. The two brightest ones, M32 and M110, are visible even through small telescopes from Earth. We're now traveling through one of Andromeda's spiral arms, regions packed with young blue stars and vast clouds of gas where new stars are being born. The center of this galaxy is different. Unlike the spiral arms, the core is filled with older, cooler stars that give it a yellowish glow. And at the very heart of Andromeda, like in most galaxies, sits a supermassive black hole. This one weighs about 140 million times the mass of our sun. But Andromeda's story isn't over. Right now, this galaxy is moving toward our Milky Way at about 110 kilometers per second. In roughly four billion years, the two galaxies will collide. It won't be a violent crash. The stars are so far apart that most will simply pass by each other. But the gravitational forces will tear both galaxies apart, twisting and reshaping them over hundreds of millions of years. Eventually, the Milky Way and Andromeda will merge into a single giant elliptical galaxy. Some astronomers have already given it a name, Milkamita. For now, Andromeda remains our closest large galactic neighbor a trillion stars bound together by gravity, slowly moving through space toward an inevitable merger with our own galaxy billions of years from now.